What's up Starcraft fans, you are watching a co-op mission. I am CTG and I'm playing this time as Artanis. My masteries are Sh Guardian Shell, Speed Increases, and Chrono Boost Efficiency. My ally, Eswald, is playing as Tukov. So I've already done how to play Raynor and how to play Kagan, so I might as well go down the list. I'm doing a how to play Artanis this time while waiting for the loading screen. A huge thank you to Zachary. Uh oh. I think my game crashed. Not, this is not the time to crash a game. There we go. Huge thank you to Zachary, who is supporting me on the Immobilization Wave tier. Thank you to Neo Metal, who is supporting me on the Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now, Artanis is one of the most flexible commanders, if not the most flexible. I can vary my unit composition depending on what the enemy is. Start the game, we'll look up into our ally. Enemy is Zerg, so it looks like I might go for High Templar and Zealots here, which is fine. Okay, start my uh, power field here. I thought everyone had forgotten about me out here. The hallucinations are the only visitors I've had. I guess that's Terrazine for you. Speaking of, temporarily switch my chrono to my ally so we can make use of it while I'm not. Start a gateway over here. Let's switch back. I want fast gas as Artanis. I'll need that for my useful units such as the Dragoons, High Templar, Tempests, Reavers. If I'll go for those. That'll cost more minerals. Just keep making just minerals. making these. Send three. Alright. Immediately send this Zelly over and break the rocks. I want to rush out a second Zelly as soon as I can if possible. There we go. Now switch this back to the gate to the gate to the Nexus rather. Okay. So after that, I uh, might start a forge soon. Although uh, my nexus or my uh, my expansion rocks are close to going down, so I might as well set a probe here. Let's start taking my expansion. Oh, you need a third. Obviously, I want three harvesting from my gas. There we go. Now start this. That is fine. Now as Artanis, I can send these zealots over here to intercept that wave and then use solar or uh, use orbital strike to fight that. Although my this time I have an ally who will probably use the Apocalypse to fight that, so I will not need to send anything after that thing myself. Start that. Looks like we'll be fighting roaches, so actually I might need to go for a robo here. That is nice. I will still want I will still want some measure of uh, some measure of offense, so I will still go for Actually, let's send this out here. Oh, wait. I still have 40 seconds to go before I actually need to use Solar Bombardment. But yeah, you want to use Solar Bombardment early as Artanis. Early and often. So I'm going to go for a Robo build this time. It's good. Alright. Now let's send this out here. Hmm, actually sent it to the wrong place. Oh well, might as well use it. Yeah, you see he's right there. Alright. Let's try these. That is fine. Send some probes over here. Take my expansion. There we go. Allied forces are under attack. Keep saturating. Allied forces are under attack. 
Pull back the hurt ones. Get the mortal. All right. Good. Keep saturating. Oh, what the now Robo the Bay? Just has to make it home safely. All right. So let's uh, start pushing forward. Get this observer here because we will fight burrowed things later on, such as swarm hosts and lurkers. Start uh, attacking this area. I want this range for the more over the dragoons rather. I should pull these guys back. Try these. I don't want to lose. Don't really, don't really want to lose my stuff early on. Okay. Don't really want to activate the bonus right now. Although I'm not sure if my ally is aware that we might be activating the bonus too early. Okay, looks like my ally is activating the bonus early. It's wonderful. Keep going in the offense then. Might as well support him. All right, that should complete our saturation. Sending out the best of my bots. Let's get the best of what's left anyway. Forge. Another robo. More gateways. You can see that uh, I left my Cybernetic Core in power because I'm not gonna go for uh, air upgrades this game. Okay, let's pull back for now. Let's try these. <laughs> look at those, look at those roach, look at those things go the, the wrong way. Alright, let's try these. Get level 1. Attack upgrades. Let's use a uh, double strike. Let's try these. Alright. Let's try these. I do remember that uh, there are storm hosts here, so let's uh, get some stuff there. I also need another observer here. Let's try those. Okay, I actually need to use some bombardment. Okay, I think they're heading my allies' way. Let's uh, start a start a thing here. Yeah, let's use this solar bombardment and draw the enemy into our dudes. I draw them to the solar bombardment. All right, good. Now let's keep fighting a solo bombardment to fight our own dudes. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Get some dragoons. Okay, keep fighting. Yeah, fight this. We want to we kill this brood lord. We, wanna keep, we, we don't want to let it keep sending dudes or, to our forces. Alright, keep going. Get this upgrade. Going. All right. So observer is now uh, has now served its purpose. Now let's go back here. All right. Let's go back here. Maybe here. Yeah, that seems good. Really want to get to the right, more Dragoose oh, then. We kind of uh, seem to be having trouble with getting gas. Alright. Let's uh, destroy these Hydralisks. Level 2 attack upgrades. I'm pretty sure I sent this, these observers the other way. 
Right. Right, these. Keep sending dudes here. Okay. Need some stuff here. Okay, Ally seems to be on it, so let's uh, keep going. I don't need to be in the same place as my ally. One, you can see that one of our, one of our Titans' weakness is, la is his lack of mobility. Okay, Ally's setting up siege tanks there, so we can keep pushing forward. You can see I'm pulling a lot of a lot of. Uh, a lot of minerals right now. Allied forces are under attack and require more gas. Yeah, let's destroy these. Then we can find all of those. Allied forces are under attack. Oh, let's converge here. That's gonna require more gas. <laughs> I need so much gas. Let's keep going. All right. Upgrade is ready for you. Let's move forward. Probably gonna save Soul Barb until uh, until we're, we're on the offense here. All right, keep going. Kill that rude lord. Kill that dude lord. So the enemy's gonna spawn right here. Yeah, right here. Shield. Let's get some more dragoons to be able to push forward. Allied forces are under attack. Keep pushing forward. Use our strike to kill this dude lord. Allied forces are under attack. We need more reavers though. Okay, five are five are pretty good. Five reavers. Five is a nice number for reavers. Yeah. Ooh, my get more dragoons. Back. That means it's tea time. And or er, unseach that and siege that back here. I can see the reason I, I saw I saw out of the corner of my eye that uh, there were there were storm hosts here. Okay. Yeah, I see more storm hosts. Uh, if only I can see where my observer is. Oh, I think it's here. Just can't see where it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Keep going here. Yeah, keep going. Allied forces are under attack. See you up right there. Looks like they trapped another Belshire glider. You know what to do or not do, commanders. Keep going. Smash forward. All right. So a few more Allied seconds, and we're home free. For immortals. Allied forces are under attack. Keep, keep pushing forward. Siege. Way, Siege up here. Keep the little guys out of trouble. Kill that dude, Lord. <laughs> he wanted to disable the bonus or something. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Try these. I destroy these things. Alright. Get this level 3 upgrade. Well, where will the rest of them spawn? Okay, there are some here. A spotter ally. There we go. Pull back. Okay, that's that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna be spawning over here. So let's uh, camp some camp some stuff there. So yes, now we're in the camping stage. Destroy some stuff here. I can use more dragoons. 
Oh, we're maxed out. <laughs> you can see, you can see that my lack of mobility is starting to show. 18 seconds till solo bombardment. I don't think uh, I'll be able to get this. Yeah, I'll be, I don't think I'll be able to get anything else since I'm maxed out. Oh wow, they're just spawning here, aren't they? All right. You want to play hardball? Okay, the bots should be on their way back. Mm -hmm. You want to keep spawning here, huh? Yeah, just yeah, sure. Keep spawning there. Keep spawning there. All right. Oh, there's a single, single score caller here. How dare you! How dare you! All right. Let's clear these. So if you're playing against, uh, you're playing against ground forces, armored ground. Immortals and Reavers are a really good option for Atanas because they have enough firepower to actually push through, like so. Just cleaving through the enemy. So now I'm gonna split up my force into two. I might, I might even uh, start camping these with cannons. Hey, uh, great job, commanders. My bots are safe and sound. Do you do this sort of thing often? Cap that observer here. And the other observer goes here. Cannons first and then the pylon so that they'll uh, they'll finish faster. Finish earlier. Oh nice. I thought this I thought this guy was trapped. <laughs> okay, looks like uh we're fine. Okay, let's move the power field over here. I've got almost all the terrazine I need. Keep it up, commanders. All right. Got to spam, spam the sta sta static defense all over this place. It's camping time. Just getting interesting. All right, go to this place. I'm not sure if my castle will be able to hold because the enemies hit hard. Let's put a reaver here for good measure. Oh, oh, what? Probe stuck. There you go. Oh wow. Stukov though. Can't work that in. I'm pretty happy that I have so, sort of decent frame rates even even if I'm playing with a Stukov ally. That's something to be happy about. I siege that. I thought I sieged this here. There go the bots. Yeesh. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Daddy loves you. You can see I'm pretty much uh, all camped up. Just try to spend my minerals wherever I can. I might as well get those. Let's look at that. Hostile forces are advancing on my bots. Have they no respect for <laughs> Might as well use shield overcharge. Just because I just because I have it. Might as well use it, you know? Our base is under our attack. allied base is under attack. Our base is under attack. Yeah, it looks like my reaver my reaver, my reaver is uh, providing some use. Nice. Alright. I'm actually willing to bet that my ally somehow has more kills than I do because uh, Artanis' power doesn't really uh, show until the late game. Or not really. I guess this enemy composition uh, and using using Reavers, I don't, I don't really ramp up. You can see I was having sort of a bit of trouble in the, in the second set of bots. But yes, uh, if you're playing against Robo, or against uh, Ground Zerg, you can't go wrong. You can't really go wrong with uh, massing Dragoons, Reavers, and Immortals. Now we're just waiting for the game to end. Sort of. Kinda. <laughs> Upgrade is ready for use. Now we're fighting this. Sort of getting kills. Sort of, but 
can see my ally has uh, all these all these kills 14 14 whereas my stuff have well I guess I, I guess my my dudes are doing that bad either I thought I was doing all the work oh, this guy's seven splash these if they lose that I'll just replace it it's a nice thing with uh, it's a nice thing with Artanis you can replace any everything instantly might as well start that no reason not to and solar bombardment here destroy everything right hmm nice so I'm not gonna max out immediately I'm just gonna wait where they will spawn so that's so that's where I'll use my dudes let's give another wave just don't know where it is oh here it is yeah destroy these GG alright that's how you play our tennis So we're just waiting for the game to end, following our dudes and stuff. Interesting. It follows a different dude. Oh no, no, it follows the same Reaver. <laughs> oh well. It seems my structure requires more infestation. <laughs> That's shield though. Yes! <laughs> I can finally finish this research and get off this godforsaken rock. I'm sorry, Belshir. I didn't mean it like that. Yeesh, Stepman. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you can do, please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score screen. Getting that EXP. And there it is. I actually had more kills than my ally. Interesting. So anyway, uh, if you just wanted to see the game, that's the game. So now I'm going to go into the replay. And... Yeah, uh, let's watch the replay so I can uh, show you guys exactly what I did. The thing I, the thing I really, uh, I think that I think gave me the, the edge was that I had splash damage. The reavers are very good. I mean, my, my ally also had the also oh, speeded up a bit. Well, just so you can see my build. My build was a uh, power field here. I thought everyone had forgotten about me out here. And then that's for you. at 15, Speaking I'll start a gateway. And then immediately start the assimilator as soon as you have enough money while constantly producing workers. And then start the other one. Might as well have the production tab, yeah. You can see I'm just constantly producing drones or probes. And then saturate that. As soon as I get my you can see this placement of the uh, the power field here. As soon as I aim as soon as my gateway completes, I'm able to start a zone at this little corner here. And just right across so it doesn't have to go around this ramp to get to the to get to the rocks. Little things like that. Make it slightly faster for you to ramp up. And you can see I did I did start my cybernetics core here because I really had no intention to use it. It was either High Templar or Reverse, and in this case, it was, re it was Reverse. You only really want to fight. You, re you only really want to use uh, Tempest when you're fighting heavy air, such as Sky Terran or Sky Toss. They're they're fine normally, but. Reavers have more firepower. If you want more firepower, you want to go Immortals and Reavers. Dragoons are pretty good. Dragoons are pretty good too recently. So you can see that I started my Twilight Council. I didn't actually use it much, but it was it was nice to have it there in case uh, it, in case it was Zerglings. If it was Zerglings, I would for sure have researched uh, Whirl, Whirl, and uh, gone up to High Templar Tech. Again, it was just uh, 
waiting my dudes. I, those dudes weren't strong enough to actually attack anything. So now I'm running the slot into an enemy base. Because solo bombardment comes online at 5 minutes, and every 5 minutes you want to use the solo bombardment so you can have more charges of it. If you don't need to defend anything, use it on offense. There's no harm. Yeah, just run in the middle of the enemy base and just uh, drop solo bombardment. It's gonna kill a lot of stuff here. And help you outkill Stukov. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so I'm defending here with this Dragoon. You can see I cleared most of the stuff. And here, my dudes are trying to take care of these roaches. And now I'm finally get, I'm able to get my first immortal. Finish those off. Ally is using the Alexander. It's pretty good use. Although I would, if I were if I were a Stuka, I would use it on uh, on the base, the closest base. This is this is kind of hard to travel. Like you travel a quarter of the a, a quarter of the way across the map. Whereas if you just attack uh, this base or this base. He would have been closer, he might have gotten more kills that way. I have been on so yes, uh, he's using the Apostle Skier. It's not terrible. If you have an ally, who knows what he's doing. But if you're all alone, use the, uh, using the uh, Apostle Skier is not necessarily the wisest because you don't have anything to, to finish off the space. I mean, this is gonna expire. And you don't have detection to clear off the, the uh, swarm host, so as you can see, I'm also forced to run back here to defend against the wave. It's funny that they're trying to bypass the spot. It just, if they just focuses down, they would have gotten it. It was close. I use uh, auto strike there. Bad move actually, because I left my uh, I left my reaver here. I should have pulled it back a bit to keep it safer. But as it is, I'm able to save the spot and keep going. So you can see my immortals are actually pushing through. This guy has 16 kills, 23 kills. Immortals are pretty good. 27 kills on that, that champ. So again, every every 5 minutes you want to use solar, solar bombardment. It went back online for me at 10 minutes. It was late by 20, 20 seconds, but that's fine. I was still able to use solar, solar bombardment at... Well, it's not exactly at this enemy camp, but I did, again... It's near, it's near enough, so I used my army to sort of bait the enemy into the solo bombardment. You can see it here. I did kill off a bunch of their units, but... Uh, ultimately, I did not clean up the base. You, you, you would be just a little bit faster here, so you can clear up that base using, using solo bombardment while defending also. So you can see that I'm pushing forward. I'm clearing the space early, so I can... Uh, have a nice easier path. You can see if I clear this base early, I can uh, send my dudes back here. Which we'll watch the mini maps. Send my dudes back here to defend, and then once this is over, I can push up, and then go left, go west. So I'm doing a an, a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise motion around the map, so I can clear everything along the way. Uh, if I if I didn't, I'd have to clear this area and then go north. And then go west, then go back down, and then finally this base. You want to have this cleared by the time the fourth bots uh, spawn, so you don't have to go back, go all the way back, and uh, clear these while trying to defend the bots. Just uh, pushing forward, my dudes. Now we're just pushing forward. Using Orbital Strike to intercept that wave. Uh, I wasn't exactly on top of my upgrades, but it was it was close enough. And the thing, the thing, I guess the difference was that uh, I let me see how my ally is doing. Yeah, my ally is floating uh, 2,600 minerals. Uh, yeah, that's probably where I could have improved on. If he were ma if he were on top of his macro, he for sure would have had more kills. Also, if he didn't make these diamondbacks, he's silly diamondbacks. <laughs> Oh, I used I used uh, all those strike here to thin, thin the wave, and give my, my dudes more time to reach that area. Our allies base is under attack. I'm gonna clear this wave using the dragoons. See, there's another wave approaching. But again, during this time, my ally was looking here, and he had units here. 
So there's really no point for me to move my army across. And now, if I were a mobile commander, if I were uh, playing as Kerrigan, I would for sure have uh, unloaded or used a Nidus Worm here, or Omega Worm, unloaded my dudes and killed that, and then went back, and then went back to this uh, to this area to clear. You can see the lack of ability is really showing for Artanis. They're they're bumbling their way over here to intercept this wave, whereas. Another commander could have been pushing forward or just uh, try to teleport it here and teleport it back. Or just had simply faster units such as Rainer's, uh, Rainer's bio or Zagar's, uh, Zagar's swarmy things. Nonetheless, we push forward. Keep healing these dudes. So you can see Solo Bombardment is once again online. I save it for a few more seconds because I know exactly what I'm saving for. At 15.30, there's going to be a wave here and I can drop Solo Bombardment. That's the beauty of uh, using Solar Bombardment every time. You know, you, you kind of memorized for each map where you want to use it on. For, for My first Solo Bombardment was uh, one of these bases. Normally I use it here, but my Zell went the wrong way, so I use it here instead. The second one was uh, on top of the enemy enemy attack wave and on the base, so that's that's exactly where I wanted to use it. The third one is here, also exactly where I wanted to use it. So I drop there, and I drop Soul of right on top of that wave and finish that thing off. While I also activate uh, Shield of the Charge to protect my dudes, and I can uh, keep pushing forward. Yeah, well, I like that one. Yeah, he still, he still, needs, to, he still needs to work on his uh, macro a bit, but it's fine. Uh, we're pushing forward. Destroy that dude lord. And you can you know how the rest of this map goes. Just clear off, clear off this area. I have my observers on siege mode, so they don't, they don't move around and get themselves killed by random stack defense like this. Sport crawlers. I'm just slowly but surely pushing forward. Now I have my observing place and I'm able to kill off these swarm hosts. If you're fighting against the Zerg, detection is required because they have lurkers and swarm hosts. Even if you didn't get that composition, you can still get them in the enemy bases, so it's it's always a wise idea to have detection whenever you're playing against the Zerg. Destroy this. Yeah, I'm just uh, killing these dudes. Ally is working on upgrades, so he's he's on, he's on top of his upgrades. Again, I use Arbor Strike to clean up that wave. See, jump and over see an observer here. Actually, no. Uh, for the fourth set, the enemy spawn here and here, so I want to keep the army in the middle. Then they also spawn here and here. So this is where uh, I was saving up my supply for. You can see I could easily max out right now, but I did, but I choose not to because I wanted supply. For this, to do this, to uh, burst a few units in, clean up the uh, clean up the enemy wave, the enemy wave. So you can see the Amos is gonna be rooted at this point. He's gonna spawn units here instead of uh, instead of where I had forces. He's clearly trying to give my allies some kills. And, and for for a while it worked because his only I didn't want to move my army out of place. I could. I could easily F2 and A my whole army here, but there are two spawning points here and I consider it risky. It's not worth moving my army forward if I'm going to lose my position here because my army doesn't even get here fast enough. So yeah, it's not worth. By the time I, by the time I get here, my ally would have cleaned it up, so it's better for me to just drop Soul of Barb as soon as it's ready. Like that. That up. Next wave's gonna spot in a second now. Right there. So I clean this up using my dudes. You can see I, I am in position this time because I didn't move this army away. That's really what you want to do as our Titus. Uh, commit. Commit your forces. So I attack this force. I already have an observer in place, so I can destroy the, the lurkers that are burrowed because I can see them. Yeah. Commit your forces. 
But if you want to be all over the map, save some supply. So you can warp in, so you can burst units in. You can see I'm just capping right now with my spare minerals. In hindsight, you could be using them to upgrade, but... I mean, I have enough firepower as it is. Look at my, look at my reverse. 39 kills. 7. 0. 13. This one's good. 7. 10. These are Dragoons. These are Gateway units. And they're not High Templar. So they're pretty effective. They're pretty cost effective. 41. Yeah, viewers are pretty good. I've got tons of kills on these. This one is 40. This new one. I remember this new one already has uh, quite a few. As soon as uh, this thing completes, I'm gonna see how many kills it has. Seven. I just spawned it and it already has seven. How about this guy? 41. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we're just waiting for the map to end. As you can see that Artanis has a lot of... Uh, well, when he's in place, he does have the firepower to attack the enemy. Yeah, more stuff here. So the last wave is spawning. I finally got stupid with frame rates, so it's a slow up a bit. I can get decent frame rates. There we go. And the wave here, they easily clean up. And there's another wave at 29 minutes. I just need to clean that up. 13 kills. A lot of more reavers, because why not? And there it is. That's the end of the game. Reavers got tons of kills. Wouldn't be surprised if they got literally half the kills they had. Yeah, that's the game. Hope you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you could do, please leave that in the comment. See you.